Hello everyone, I hope you're doing amazingly and today we'll be looking at the new Team of the Week 25 that came out just under an hour ago. Unfortunately, we all thought Classic EA, no Messi or Ronaldo, I'm guessing a 30 minute hat trick just isn't enough anymore. But besides that, um, there still are some decent cards so we're going to be reviewing them all. And if you do enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and yeah, let's get straight into it. So starting off we got the reserves, uh, no one's good apart from this 96 pace striker. Who's not the best, but he can't get in anyone's starting line, let's be fair. But as a super sub with 96 pace, anyone with 96 pace is probably a good super sub. So, not the best reserves. Then moving on to the bench. you got a bit of fodder in Gomez and the goalkeeper, but then you got Waman. Waman Getuka. Uh, Five-star skills will ignore the two-star weak foot. But look at that card for an 82 rated. That's probably the best 82 rated ever. Look at the pace, just we don't need to talk at the pace, we can just admire that 99 sprint speed. 90 finishing on an 82 rated guy uh, with 82 sh shooting, and then 99 dribbling. Uh, I mean, 92 dribbling and 99 agility. And he can last a full game as well with the five star skills. That's probably one of the best uh, 82 rated cards we've ever seen. So that's actually a solid bench because we've got a bit of fodder or oh, wow, man. Um, and then the super subs there. So that's a solid bench. Now, moving on to the starting lineup, I still can't believe about that. Oh, wow, man. Uh, we've got David Soria from La Liga, Spanish goalkeeper. It's just, you can't really say much about the goalkeepers. Most of them perform, to perform the same. But if you have a Liga team, I guess it'll be a good pool to get. And talking about good pools to get if you get a league team, uh, an inform Jesus Navas, a uh, right back. Um, f uh, he's got four star skills, which is nice for a right back. Five or eight is a bit eh. But if you move on to his actual card, he's got the pace. He can kind of shoot. The finishing's a bit low, but everyone thing else is a bit is is good. Uh, he can pass nicely. His dribblings, his dribblings all right. Uh, you probably want to boost the agility a bit, but uh, it's still usable. Uh, the defending's there, and then, I mean, we all know what Jesus Navas' goal card, he's got 42 strength even on his inform, but I guess it's still a decent, probably usable right back, and not not bad again. Next up is Fonte, and he's just SP, SPC for the 40 pace, uh, he can't dribble, he can't, he can barely pass, he's just good at defending, so just literally just fodder, and Tierney. Premier League have kind of lacked in left backs throughout the whole game, to be fair. And this tin is definitely the best one they've released. Maybe that, or actually, because I reckon it'll be less than that regular one. Best definitely will be such a nice card for a left back. Uh, he's got the pace, he's got the passing, he can dribble as well, and the physical is so nice, and, the def and he can defend as well. That is a very sort of left back from the Premier League, one of the best there is right now at the moment. Uh, so, it's, I mean, there's no good centre backs in this team of the week, but again, not the not the worst, not the worst. Uh, next up is this Politano from Syria, four star, four star. I mean, it's not. I guess it's an all right card. It's definitely usable, but it's just not great. Uh, he can his pace isn't the best for a winger, but it's still decent. He can't shoot. Uh, he can pass, but. Uh, the dribbling's nice, but it's just not the best card, is it? But I guess it's still usable, but if you want to get past Div 4, I would definitely stay away. And over on the other side, oh, on the left side, I mean, he's a cam, but uh, it's Muller, and again, 3-star, 4-star, he's probably just SVC for the... If he had, the pe if he had better pace and improved his agility and balance, he'll be a good and nice card, but unfortunately... That's not how it, <coughs> how it works. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, probably just SPC fodder in my opinion. But yeah, uh, they're not the best wingers, even though Muller's not the winger. Now moving on, we've got 86 Coop Miners. Three star skills, two star weak foot. Not the best, but it's not really that important. But it's still quite important. And this is such a nice card addition to um, Eredivisie, which is like a popular popular league that people have been going for obviously with uh, milestones objectives like Gravenberg and Van Berg and stuff like that but the actual card is nice as well uh, if you put on like an engine to prove the pace and dribbling it's going to be such a nice centre mid him and Gravenberg in the middle will be very solid and overall just a very solid card next up is De Bruyne probably the main man from this team of the week four star 
4 star, 5 star, high high work rates and then if you move on to his actual card, what a card it is pace isn't the best but with a Kemsdale you can sort that out uh, he can shoot very nicely the passing's exceptional 95 passing, Jesus uh, the dribbling's not the best as well but with an engine it'll be good as well well it's the dribbling's insane apart from the agility and balance but with an engine it will sort both the pace and the dribbling out you don't really need defending if you're going to play in cam and the stamina's there as well so the main one from this team of the week and what a nice card it is uh, next up on the left side we have this 85 Jota I don't think many people got expect him to get upgraded but here he is 4 star 5 star um, high high work rates obviously it's good for the ones to watch owners who gets their, t gets their ones to watch upgraded uh, the pace is there, the shooting's there the dribbling's there and the physical's there Jota's always been underpriced with the 5 star wheat fur as well if you are if you just want to have a bit of fun this is a great card to use and yeah if you get me your red picks I'll be happy because it's a nice card SBC fodder. No, I'm joking. All jokes aside, King Wakehorst. Uh, he's a three-star, three-star, high, high work weight, weight rate. Um, just apart from the shooting and physical, he's just, he's just useless. Look at that. Look at that balance. Look at the pace. He just is SBC fodder. But if you get the king in the red, in your red picks, then I mean, I mean, it's high rated, so you can't really complain. But again, not the best card. And now the final pick. What's his name? Loralto Martinez, four star, four star, five foot nine, which means means he'll feel responsive on the ball, especially with that 91 agility. He can pay. He's got pacing and shoot, and he can pass very nicely. And the physicals there. This is such a nice card. Uh, probably, probably the one I want to get in my red picks the most tomorrow, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, just a great card overall. And apart from we didn't get Messi or now, this has actually been a nice team of the week. We've got one man on the bench. I got a few decent, decent cars like Tierney and Jota and Coop Miners and stuff like that, and the obvious ones like the Bruyne. That's going to be it. If you do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more FIFA 21 content. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. See ya.